I don't like running at uh, items on my survivors or my my main at least. Um, I make some exceptions here and there. Um, I may start bringing keys into game because of the end game collapse. I think keys are probably going to be the most beneficial thing to have right now with the end game collapse. Um, they are a solid counter against killers closing the hatch. Um, that I, yeah, the hatch standoff is just. Uh, it's I don't think it's what they were going for. If that, if it's what they were going for, they missed the mark big time um, because it's the same damn thing that we've been going through and everyone hated hatch standoff now hatch standoff is just it's the same but it's different it's literally either you slug like I just did even though I wasn't intending on slugging I was going to pick that meg up and hook her but the Neo ran out, uh, the skill, well, she failed the skill check, and then she came running out, or she did a fast vault, I'm not sure which, it, it happened really fast, um, I won't really know until playback, but you either slug the survivor, and hope that the survivor you're slugging doesn't crawl to hatch, or find hatch while crawling, or you kill three survivors, and hope to find hatch yourself and then you literally just stand at the hatch and wait until something happens and you obviously want that thing to happen to be in close proximity to you um i think it's a broken game mechanic i i like that they at least tried but it's not good enough and it needs to be better um and I'm not 100% sure on how to do that other than get rid of the hatch completely, which I know that's going to make a lot of people butt hurt. But, um, I, and hey, I've had plenty of hatch escapes within the past 48 hours. Um, so it would be a disservice to me as a survivor, uh, especially getting the bonus blood points, but I honestly think that's what needs to happen. I think hatch needs to disappear. Um, kind of veered off a little bit there, but, um, yeah, the end game's kind of bugging me. I, I'm not a huge fan of it, um, especially playing as killer. I don't like just sitting in one spot waiting for something to happen, and it might take five minutes for something to happen. Um, luckily for me, I've been encountering survivors that are very impatient, and they just want out of the game, and they will show themselves within a matter of minutes it seems so i'm considering myself lucky in that regard but if and i'm assuming this is going to be the case in higher ranks i'm almost sure that there's going to be some overly immersed survivors that are just going to stay in and farm as many points as they possibly can to optimize their points uh, because they know that the killer isn't going to be moving from the location in which they're at which would be hatch um so yeah, 99%ing gens and getting as many points as possible until it's maxed out and, you know, destroying totems to get boldness. I think that's going to be something that you see more frequently and that's going to make for a very boring game. And they're going to need to reevaluate things if they want to have better quality in this game because the quality of life i think is going to drop drastically if they uh keep end game the way it is because it's not good all right i am done rambling i might actually break this up into a separate video because um i'm not sure how much i've been rambling for um so yeah